Hello everybody, it's Confuse Your Favorite Goofy Goober here. So everyone's favorite ex Dream SMP member, Wilbur Slit, is apparently a very weird dude. Like when I say weird, I mean very weird. Like this man teeths like he is a newborn child. So if you don't know, recently allegations have come against Wilbur Slit, um, basically saying that he kind of, sort of, kind of, not really, but still abused his partner by biting her daily to the point where she'd be bruised like very badly and she wasn't the only girl he would bite uh apparently he would bite a lot of people like niachu and a whole bunch of other content creators and just women he hanged out with now wilbur did respond to um the allegations and uh his tweet does read in the past week a series of allegations have made over my conduct from my ex-girlfriend I want to emphasize that although I feel it fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. I've taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to process and respond respectfully and with the hope to gain a deeper understanding for the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex-girlfriend and I've since sought therapy. To address these behaviors, making significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past actions have come to realize how much of my past behavior have hurt this person, but I truly compassionately believe I've made great strides from the person I once was and hope to continue and grow and improve. The allegations of abuse, particularly in the form of biting, deeply shocked me. Throughout our relationship, I understood from our numerous conversations and text message exchanges on the subject that this paper was consensual, playful, and reciprocally enjoyed. Well, apparently what she said, it was not enjoyed at all. Like, she, she would beg him to stop, and he wouldn't, like, he would bite her so hard that she would have to use a quote-unquote safe word they had just for that. Like, that is just so, like, weird and bizarre. Like, I haven't heard anything about drawing blood, but, like, I wonder if he did draw blood a few times. But anyways, back to his tweet. I truly believe these personal message exchanges reflect a mutual affection and understanding. Out of all respect for her, I choose not to publish them, and I emphasize my perspective is not to share or diminish or invalidate anyone's feelings. Instead, I share it in the hope that I can offer a genuine, fair, and re relevant, sorry, relevant insight to my understandings of the situation. While I may perceive our interactions differently, I recognize that this person has processed and expressed feelings of hurt. I want to extend my sincerest apologies for any pain that I've caused. I'm fully committed to understanding and addressing her concerns going forward. I hope my perspective sheds light on the situation without detracting from its message. I am dedicated to earning and maintaining the trust of those around me and I hope to continue be to be held to high standards and I wish to attain and maintain. Yeah, no, this this uh quote unquote apology is a whole lot of nothing, dude. Like he's basically saying, Yeah guys, I'm sorry in in a way. Like he, he does not address really the situation at all. Like you you can sit there and be like, Well yeah he did confuse he no he didn't. He just said, Yeah guys, uh I'm trying to change as a person. Uh, I'm so sorry, and uh, I'm just trying to be a better person, yet he doesn't touch upon any of the allegations and try to defend himself whatsoever, which I'm bringing up the him not trying to defend himself because this means, in my opinion, obviously this man is guilty. I mean, he, he knows he's been caught. I mean, there's so many uh, just, like, um, evidence of him just not biting his ex, but a lot of other people. And if you want the evidence, go and check out Stark. Um, I'll link his channel down below. He'll have a video out um explaining some more of the other details of uh, this video but anyways i'm gonna uh, play the clip of his ex uh shovel i think is her name talking about um everything i'm gonna show the clip for talking so yeah he would even joke that it looked like he abused me um and eventually he did acknowledge how bad it looked that i was covered in bruises all the time so he stopped um biting my arms as often and he started biting my legs instead yeah no it, it's just it's such a weird like he's such a weird guy like and it sucks because i did genuinely love wilbur sitting his content fist me to your hand comes out my mouth but he's he's just such a weird guy i mean he's over here bragging to his friends that he's biting the f out of his girlfriend and then whenever she gets so bruised up on her arm that there's probably no space left for bruises, he moves down to her legs. That is just so just weird. I mean, I get, like, playfulness in relationships, like, you know, like, a little bite in a relationship, I guess. That's, like, you know, as a, as a joke, I guess. You know, like, couples play in ways. But this is not, like, a couple playing. This is not, you know, like, uh, any, like, um, romanticism. None of that. This is just, like, straight borderline. 
well, it is abuse, but it's not like the mainstream abuse everyone thinks of. It's it's abuse. It is quite literally abuse. So I broke up with him, and I didn't even want to, um, because I couldn't even see for such a long time after um, what it really was that had happened that he had abused me. And in fact, we left things as we want to be friends and he can never imagine nev not speaking to me again. Um, and then he never spoke to me again. All the, all the cleaning, all the laundry, all of it, I was paying for all of the um, like paper towels, uh, like soap. All of that only stayed in the house so long as I was buying it. Um, I would arrive and there would just not be toilet paper in the whole house. There were paper towels instead. And who knows for how long too. He would spill things on the floor and never, literally never clean them up. Uh, he got an ant infestation once um, and wasn't going to do anything about it because he said, he said, <laughs> bugs are normal in British houses. Yeah, no, this guy is just like overall like very, very weird. I mean, like a messy human being seems like a very crappy significant other. How do you how do you go without soap and toilet paper, man? That is just awful weird. And then the whole ant infestation because he just loves bugs and ants. It's just it's weird. The guy is such a weirdo, and that's sadly just the problem with all of these, you know, um, S and P Earth and Dream S and P members. So yeah, that that's all. Um, if anything else comes out, I'll make an update video. But yeah, Wilbur Soot is a very, and I mean very weird individual. So uh, yeah, bye.